Hey everyone, last weekend we had a lot of results, but you know, the English side I think is a bit delayed. So let's kind of take a look at the Japanese side because set temps plus, plus like festival collection format is going to be way bigger in English than it is going to be in Japan. I think, well, technically Japan has had set 10 for quite a long time, but festival collection, WGP Osaka is going to be the only tournament where uh, this is relevant because the next big WGP tournament will have set 11 legal as far as I know. While we're going to be sitting in set 10 plus festival collection from, uh, from, from June and then festival collection comes out in July. And then all the way down into September is when we get our next uh, set 11 set. So we'll be sitting in this format quite, like way longer than what Japan would be sitting in um, with the festival collection cards. Right, so let's just take like WGB Osaka. We'll be doing it old style, right? No pie charts this time, just all the uh, all the old data, and then just looking at the top four decks of each block because Osaka is one of the bigger tournaments out right now. And thanks to Chris, we always get that uh, that diversity cutoff that we want to talk about because, as I mentioned before, uh, WGPs do use diversity cuts, so we want to know where like the diversity cut happened. And with A block, it's at six, right? So after this, after sixth place. Uh, the, the decks get a bit weirder, all right? So let's take a look at the placing. So first off, we have the A block Swiss. We're going to go A block first, talk about all the results, and then talk about B block next. Uh, these undefeated decks, we have Willista Jet and Ebisu, Gandiva, Jet, uh, Gandiva, Ebisu, and e Ava, right? And then Willista, Gandiva, Jet, and then Gandiva, Hexa, and then Ebisu. So uh, as usual, very expected, just kind of the old, old decks plus... Some more list of coverage, right? And then after on the fifth and sixth to round out our undefeated ones, well, with, with zero cutoffs, we have uh, Hexa, Gandiva, and then uh, Avangarda, and then a Gandiva, Hexa, and a Willista. So Hexa, also one of the good decks that's really been popping up, uh, doing very well in the set 10 meta. Uh, but then afterwards, here is where the diversity cut starts happening. You can start, start to see some uh, nice, interesting decks here. We have Minerva, Youthbeck, and Overlord. So none of these were ever, ever uh, kind of, you know, represented yet. So of course they make it. They got the Medial, Avangarda, and then the, uh, what was it? The, the, a Bug Snake, all right? Dirty Snake, Stealth Snake, uh, Megal Nozuchi, all right? I just, just remembered it. Uh, and then Overlord, Drejeweled, Jets, Ebisu, Messiah, uh, Overlord. Uh, Gandiva, Willista, Zorga, and then lastly for the 12th place there, we have the PBO, uh, Willista and Gandiva, and then the last four, we have Claudine, which is this new PR that got released, uh, Willista, and then Chronojet, and then Chronojet, uh, Youth and Ibisu, Magnolia, Gandiva, and Jet, and lastly, Jet, Gandiva, and Lord and Roll, which is a bit of a weird one, and then to take a look at the top four, the, the winners, and, uh, you know, the, the semi-winners, we have Team 1 here, who brought nicely a Gandiva, right? Seeing this pretty pretty much, Ebisu and a Eva. So just, I don't know, I know people have been talking about how Eva is not that great, but uh, maybe the claims of its death are greatly exaggerated, right? Seems to still do well, even though Willista is a bad matchup for it. Uh, but you know, the Willista has, like a lot of Willista's topped. How many of them have won? That's what I want to know, right? Uh, Second team here we have is another Gandiva, right? And then a Hexa Orb, and then finally an Ebisu. So he the Hexa Orb team doing pretty well, right? And then third place with the <laughs> they got a, they got a good pose going. Let's put it that way. We have a Drejeweled. So the Drejeweled deck did well, right? Uh, with then the Overlord, and then finally the Jets, right? Jets. So Jets been really doing well again, rising up. Even though it, there was a time where it uh, fell off pretty badly. A lot of them are going to Zargons nowadays, but this guy stuck with Swirla Gungaram, which is quite interesting because that was a build that kind of died off a couple of, probably a, a couple of months ago now. So we're seeing some sort of success here is quite strong. Also running the old Overtrigger, uh, the Dark States one, because a lot of people have been, you know, taking, changing it up. So just going, seems to be a more traditional list with the, uh, with the Regalus piece, the, the Shield Regalus piece. Uh, and then fourth place, right, we have uh, Hexa Orb again. So again, doing well, this time taking the red OT. Uh, and then Gandiva. And then lastly, a Avantgardia list. So pretty good. The Avantgardia list, kind of interesting. It's running the docking, uh, the docking station now. Uh, we, 
seems to work. It was like an idea that the uh, Avid players were using. I know DF was doing it. You can play the, uh, you can play your uh, habitable zone and then CB1 and then just search for the docking and then docking station and then get a free kind of placement down for it. So a pretty nice tech. Interesting that it's coming out in Avangardia. Normally you just see it in Ava, but hey, it's good, right? Uh, then next to some of the extra decks we saw, there was the Medial that top. This one is interesting. I expected the Medial deck to be running the new PR. Uh, well, well, the PR that, that English has recently got, because that really buffs up the deck quite a bit. But it looks like it's not running the PR at all. So it just looks like a traditional uh, Medial deck with a bunch of high rarity stuff. And then running, uh, yeah, just uh, just not running any new stuff except for the, uh, the, the new Grade 3 that... Uh, works with OTs, right? I don't really know what to call this this card, these new Grey 3s. Yeah, any any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and then next we have is that Claudine deck. It looks like it's just, you know, you, you get extra drives. Running only one Roaming Prison Dragon, which is it's a bit like, not, not consistent, <laughs> I want to say. Uh, and then you run a lot of orders, it seems. So quite a few orders here, just order, order Claudine is the way. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe. Uh, and then afterwards, we have a Magnolia list, just a Magnolia Elder list, uh, playing it up with the uh, Dolls Regalius that comes out in the Festival Collection. And yeah, just pretty much like old, pretty much like old, uh, how do you say, old, old old Magnolia, just with a touch more consistency. It's got a new, new PR though, right? New PR though, so pretty, pretty interesting. Let's you, uh, uh, oh, it's a Magnolia, Grade 4 Magnolia PR. Hmm, okay. Uh, this one, this one lets you speed right into it, I, th I think, so... Uh, it's just like the Amelia for Nirvana. So pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, and then lastly, that Laurel list. Laurel lists are pretty, pretty, how do you say it? Like packed with stuff. Like you look at this list, where is the space? There really isn't much space after you put in all the Laurels and then the draw two support. Uh, and then you just put in some, some of the new cards and that's it. That, that's pretty much done uh, because you need the old Lauren roll, right? You need the old one because it's just way better after your initial ride. And then just running the Val Norts and all that, so pretty interesting, right? Uh, but then moving on to Block B again. Block B, the cutoff was at uh, rank six, and then the list that did well. So first, first place undefeated was the Shaka Pro team. Uh, this one was Gandiva, uh, Willista, and Ebisu. Then we had the TCG Bar team with the Willista, uh, Avangardia, and Jet. And then we had Overlord, Gandiva, and Ava. And then Ebisu, Gandiva, and Willista. So. Uh, pretty, pretty I ideal, I guess. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, and then fifth, we have the Ebisu, Gandiva, and Jet. And then sixth, we have the Overlord, Hexa, and Jet as well. Uh, but, and then following that, we have the diversity cuts. And we can definitely see there's a hyper diversity here. We got the Seraph, Maelstrom, and the Hexa Orb. So basically, two of them are very, very unmeta. Let's put it like that. Uh, but then we have the monster. <laughs> The, the, the weird monster deck with the Hexa and the Wallista. And then after that, you start having a bit of the extra ones. The Felty Rosa, Minerva and Jets, Grand Fear, Felty Rosa and Gandiva, uh, PBO, Wallista and Gandiva. And then this one is like Gandiva, Youthberg and Wallista. And the top four, the last top of the top 16, I mean, Wallista, Gandiva and uh, Zorga. And then Lauren Roll, Gandiva and Wallista. And then we have is Zorga, Willista, and then Ebisu. And then lastly, we have the one Messiah, right? Uh, I don't think there was any other Messiahs here, yeah? Like Ebisu, Jet, Messiah. Was there really? No no one, no Messiahs, right? Yeah, straight up. Messiahs really dropped off. We've been talking about that quite a lot. But yeah, uh, it, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then the top four, the winners here, uh, we have quite a few, no, no funny poses this time. Uh, we had the Ebisu, not a surprise. Uh, the Jet, which is also not a surprise. This one is running Valnort though as well, the red OT. Uh, and then on the GG and looks like the Zargon train, all right? And then the last one was the Messiah. So the Messiah came from 16th to first place, right? That's just how you do it. And uh, just no no new text Messiah. Fortunately, there aren't. It's just a pretty straightforward deck right now. Wait till set 11. Um, but just running the four uh, Makanis for the extra solar charge and that's pretty much it. And then in second place, uh, we have the Gandiva, all right, Gandiva, pretty straightforward. Uh, Youthberg, so this time the Youthbergs, uh, kind of the, the, the lowest of the, the defeated, the non-undefeated guys taking it home this time. Second place, the Youthberg, uh, and then 
then we have another Willista here. Well, probably the only Willista in the top four. The first Willista we've seen in the top four so far. Uh, and then in third place, we've got the TCG Bar team with the Avangardia. Uh, and then we have the Jets. Yeah, Jet with Zargon. Uh, and then lastly, oh, let's not zoom in. Then lastly, we have the other Willista, uh, or third Willista. Oh, no, second, second Willista. I think third Willista is coming up with Blue OT. Uh, and then in the top last one here, we have just fourth place. They don't have a picture. Uh, you have the Gandiva. You have the Ebisu. Yeah. And then the third Willista. Okay, so I'm getting it right now. Third Willista. Uh, this one also running Blue OT. I think that's just what you do with Willista because your power output is already there. You just need to get the specific cards. Um, but yeah, otherwise, the, the decks are pretty... At least the Willista decks are pretty solved. But I feel like this is the first big showing of Willista. I think in the previous block, we hardly saw any in the top four. Uh, and then the previous tournament we were talking about last week, the singles one, not many Willistas showed up as well. So pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Uh, but then some of the extra decks that we've seen, there was this Maelstrom deck that did well, right? Nothing really too insane here. I think this is a Maelstrom PR that we haven't gotten yet. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I was interested to see if there was the, uh, the, the, the PR order for Stoy Care yet, but it doesn't seem like it's out or usable. Not 100% sure on that. Um, and then we have the monster deck, so kind of like Archite into with a, co a Combine Rusher. Yeah, okay, that's a monster. Totally. <laughs> totally, right? Uh, into the monster deck and then just, you know, the restand, restanding monster boys. Uh, with It's like order, right? You, you, do, you put back orders and then you, you, you restand. So somehow did, did okay. Uh, look at the lack of monsters here at all. It's literally just Combine Rushes. Right? Then it's triggers and then it's orders. Wow. All right. Uh, then we have the Felty Rosa running pretty much the Willista ride line, just because, again, I think we've mentioned it, the Wiss Willista ride line's pretty good. Splashing into things, getting you soul, while the Felty Rosa one isn't. Uh, there were two Felty Roses, so they were pretty much similar, except I think the grade ones were slightly different. Uh, and then the OT, they just, they still use the blue one, so pretty, pretty interesting there. Uh, and then we have the, the one-off Granfia list, so this one is just a... Uh, I don't really know what to say about Granfia. I feel like it got lucky, right? Granfia like comes once in a while. Uh, you know, got a PR, but it's, I think there's like way better story Kadex, especially there's like Zorga, right? You're underestimating Zorga a lot. Uh, and then lastly, we have the Laurel again. Like like we said before, pretty much no slots for other stuff. You run you run the on attack, uh, draw discard draw two, uh, puts in a Yuika. Hey, pretty much done. This is like the new support, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So. Uh, pretty interesting format again, right? If you want to talk about what is still good, you know the good decks are still good, right? Pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, Gandiva, hey, if you have a bad Gandiva deck or you're gonna buy one in the next set, it's gonna do you well. Uh, Jet or uh, Jet is still good, right? Jet is still good even after ban list, even you know still performing extremely well. Uh, we don't have Ebisu, so that's a plus. No one needs to talk about it. Ava, Ava, kind of like. Is not the top tier dog anymore, right? It's it's kind of fallen off a bit, but still a potent deck because we see all the good players still bringing it, yeah. And then the Willista is pretty much just doing really strong. The rest of the format is still decent too, right? Hexa Orb, all coming out from set ten, right? Next set is going to be absolutely massive for the game, so be sure to get it, right? Be sure to get it. And Festival Collection does change a lot of things up too, um, so I think it, it's all good, right? Even if you're a Youthberg player and you saw your deck fall off for the last. Uh, X months. Hey, guess what? Youthberg is still still doing well, and Messiah pops up one once in a while, right? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure people are gonna buy Messiah. I'm gonna build Messiah. Am I gonna play it? I don't know, but sometimes you so uh, sometimes you gotta you gotta do it, right? I, I'm definitely getting a higher rarity version of this deck. I just don't know how much play it's gonna get. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is just a kind of a quick update for the Japanese scene. Uh, there's a lot of things happening elsewhere, right? We had, I think we had uh, America had had a had a BSF. Indonesia had one too. The boys uh, doing very very well. Indonesia WCC team plus uh, Galini did very very well. Um, stream matches as well, so pretty cool. Uh, but I think those will come at another time. So with that, let me think what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you think. That, 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 that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you all uh, next time. Well, maybe very soon.